Number 40. The reaction of compound A to give compound C and D was found to be second order in A. The rate constant for the reaction was determined to be 2.42 liters per mole per second. If the initial concentration is 0.5 moles per liter, what is the value of T half? Okay. So a T half, lowercase t is always a time, right? Um, and this half means how much time has elapsed so that your concentration will drop down to half that amount. This T half is known as a half-life. A half-life is the specific amount of time it takes for your concentration to drop to 50%. So if we're initially starting at 0.5 and the 50% drop, if we just divide that by 2, it would be 0 0.250, right, moles per liter. The time that it would take to go from 0.5 to 0.25 is exactly your half life because you're exactly going to 50% of what you started with. But now there are different half life formulas depending on what order the reaction is in. So maybe the question might say what order you're in. And in this case, it said that it was found to be second order. And that's all I need to know. The second order half reaction is this one which means that no one cares about zero and no one cares about first. But um, I would make sure to write these formulas down because maybe you might need to memorize them on your test and quiz. So before I pull up the second order equation, just pause the video if you need to, to see, uh, you know, if you need to write any formulas down. But here I go. We're going to use the second order for this one. And the rest goes. Bye-bye. Oop. Okay. So... We're trying to solve for t half, that's the half life. And for second order, it's reliant on this bracket, right? A zero concentration. And it is the initial concentration. That's why there's a zero here. Zero uh, just stands for that no time has passed. Zero time has passed, so that's your initial concentration. And they did say that we are starting off with 0.5 zero zero moles per liter which is the same thing as molarity now it's going to be that initial concentration times by k which in this formula is the rate constant did they tell us a rate constant yes they did the rate constant for this reaction is 2.42 so 2.42 liters per mole or liters mole to the negative one, is this is the opposite of mole to, you know, mole divided by liter. This is the same thing as molarity to the negative one. Just make sure that you can identify different units, but they mean exactly the same thing. And then this would be seconds to the minus one. All right, let's plug this in and see what we get. T half, our half life is equal to one divided by we got those two values. The initial concentration is 0 0.500, and the rate constant was 2.42. So if we just do 1 divided by 0 0.5 times 2.42, good enough for me. Yeah, we're just dividing it by half, 1.21. And then we'll just do that division. So our half-life, 1 divided by that answer, you get, I guess we'll do three sig figs. So 0 0.826. And now what is that? This is a unit for time. Is it seconds, minutes, hours, right? Always go back to your rate constant to see what that unit was for the time. And in this case, they gave us an S. S stands for seconds. So, whoa, this is going really fast. So not even in one second will this reaction, boop, go from 100% down to 50%. So very, very, very quick reaction here because it has a low half-life. The higher the half-life, the slower the reaction's going to be. And that's basically it for this one. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to helping you in more questions. I will talk to you soon, and I hope you have a great day. As always, keep studying hard, 
and I'll see you. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.